Hi, and welcome to episode 7 of the Chronological Time Traveler series. On update day of the 12th of July 2001, an upper floor got built on the monastery. This introduced the monk rope top, bottom, and brother Jared. The mining, smithing, and crafting skill also got a new skilling method. This is mining and smelting silver, and crafting unblessed holy symbols. These can be blessed by brother Jared. Unblessed holy symbols can also be sold to general stores for a starting price of 80 GP each. Now I had a premonition that I will be needing over 135,000 GP in the next game update. After having sold my full adamant back to the stores to have some extra inventory space, as banks only hold your coins, I only have about 18,000 GP to my name. Crafting holy symbols should also be the new best money maker at the moment. The Varrock Southwestern Mine has now three new silver rocks, and that is the mine that holds the most silver in game at the moment. As a respawn timer for this silver ore is one minute, the best way would be to hop between two worlds. This was done back in the day by having two browser tabs open. After testing this method for a couple of hours, this comes around to about 6000 crafting speed per hour and 3000 GP per hour. Since I'm not really a fan of constantly hopping worlds, and in my premonition I saw that I need over 135,000 GP, divide that by 3000 GP per hour, that is going to be over 45 hours. So I'm looking for something similar. Looking at the first three hours of using the five silver rocks in the El Kerit mine and buying a mold every trip comes to around 5700 crafting SP and 2500 GP per hour. I've also tested always keeping the mold on you and this increases the rates to about 6000 XP per hour and 2800 GP per hour. So even though hopping between two worlds, spreading the symbols between the two general stores in the two worlds is more GP per hour, but for my sanity's sake, I decided to continue with the El Kerit mine. Heck, let's even move on to the next update already. On the 17th of July 2001, there are now in total three game worlds and two support servers, increasing the total player capacity to 4000 at once. As you might be able to tell, I'm currently using a bronze pickaxe, as other pickaxes do not exist until 2003. Also, the best amulet at the moment in game is the Amulet of Strength, which is released about six weeks ago. Therefore, I will still need a ruby and gems are rare. They are only available rarely via mining. Now I would really love to get a diamond via mining. It is extremely rare if I get it, but if I get it, it will probably make me move on to the next game update already. FYI, mining with the bronze pickaxe, the fail rate of extracting the ore from the rock is quite high. Now, with every fail, you get one more chance to extract a rare gem instead of an ore. So, going for the ruby and diamond via mining as well as going for 135,000 GP, I think that is best to do with a bronze pickaxe, just to try to get extra chances of getting gems. Anyway, that is about it. There's nothing much to say than just mining for the next 45 hours, so... See ya. Nice. 601 total. 61 crafting, still going strong. Blick bark helms, not a thing till 2004, I think. I'm gonna quickly add these back to the canvas. Being a good day. Do you, 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 one more level to half a 70. Oh, 50 smithing, that's a pretty big one. Mithril, that's pretty cool. Especially when I go to Faldor, buy myself a Dwarven Stout so I can make myself a 
best in slot new axe the mythical one the best axe currently would be the adamant axe but the only way to obtain that is by having 71 smithing which i am very 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 far off a mithril one is definitely a massive upgrade but woodcutting doesn't really have a massive use at the moment it is as useful as fire making at the moment the only use that these two skills have is to light a fire so we can cook meat away from a town anyway that is 50 smithing we are almost done i think 131k i need 135k to buy the full rune but i also want some additional money since I can't kill Dark Wizards, since the Comet Triangle make them mages now. And yet still, no diamond in sight. Here we go. That is already all the money that I need for the best in slot items that will be released in the next game update. And that is also 60 mining. The mining guild has not been released yet, but it will be released very soon. And as you can tell by my inventory, there is still no diamond. So I think it is going to be a no-show for the diamond. 63 green dehyde bodies not released until 2004. We are now officially halfway to level 70 and the power amulet. But I don't think I will be doing that. Two weeks have already passed and it is time for the next game update. I just want a little bit more money, about 150k, to be able to buy at least some runes. Holy damn, that is the first thing ever that I got two gems in one inventory. No diamond though. But damn, two gems? What is the rarity on that? Oh, oh, oh. 51, that is the Mithril Axe, new best in slot axe. And after exactly one month of mining silver, or approximately 50 hours or so, that is 150,000 GP in the inventory and a little bit overdue, but let's move on to the next game update. On the 26th, we have three game updates. The first one is that Runite items have been added to the game. Runite is the most powerful metal in the game. You can buy rune weapons and rune armor from the Champions Guild. There is an extra item only available as a rare drop from a particularly strong monster. The second update is also the biggest one and leaves the biggest impact. And that is that the bank has been upgraded that you can now store any item in the bank and not just gold. You can store up to 48 different items with a maximum limit of 16 million items per stack. And as for the third update, half of East Verak and East Felador have been removed. There were the player-owned houses. Originally, this was for the carpentry skill, which everyone gets then their own player-owned house. But these POHs were not instant. But even in the first half year of RuneScape's release, it became pretty clear that there is nowhere near enough to go around. No, I mean, no, I mean, my aim at the time was to basically get more players than the sort of little text-based sort of mud that I've been playing prior to that. You know, and that game was sort of getting maybe sort of 20, sort of 30 simultaneous players at peak. And my aim was sort of like, I'm going to beat that. I'm going to get more players than they've got by having graphics. And that was kind of, that was the level of my ambition. Um, you know, the actual software I'd written at the time couldn't actually handle more than, you know, a few hundred players concurrently because I just didn't expect that to ever happen and, and when all of a sudden the number of people very rapidly started going up I was like ah gotta upgrade the software um, and you know it was very much upgrading the software as fast as I possibly could because it hadn't even planned at all oh no I just made my, <sighs> my woodcutting is too shit is this faster money than crafting unblessed symbols? Because I spent about exactly 15 minutes to mine, smelt and craft one inventory of unblessed symbols and I sell them to the general store for 520 coins. I haven't been here for so long and I already made 1000 GP, even though it costs a lot. But once my HP has regened, I can start using melee again to get maybe one or two free kills. Anyway, I'm here for the room at helm which is at a drop rate of 1 in 128. Though on my previous time traveler account, I went triple the drop rate. So 
Hopefully, hopefully, that will not happen this time. And if it does, then I will probably need to go back to silver mining. Ruby, 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 Ruby! I've been killing quite some hill giants, and once again, I am a little bit dry on cosmic runes to be able to enchant my sapphire amulet and the ruby amulet. But since we now have a bank, I think I'm going to start storing some runes in there, especially the rare ones. The rare ones must definitely be banked. And that's about it. Yes, cosmic runes. Nice. Yes, I am coming back to the Hill Giants next game update somewhere next month so I can train my prayer to 43. I think that would be very nice to get to 43 prayer using big bones as uh, currently big bones are still not available. There we go. 47 magic. Let's go and enchant. I don't have the magic level, obviously. Wait, Beard Claws doesn't exist in... Okay. Okay, no Beard Glosses. And I have a Strength Amulet with plus 10 Strength Bonus that is going to give me two and a half extra max hits. Which is much better than the Amulet of Accuracy. Now, I don't really know what to do with this amulet, though. I guess I could store it in my bank, but is it even worth it since the amulet of power, magic, and strength are all better? Anyway, I am almost at the drop rate of 1 in 128, and I think, once again, I am going to be dry. Not that bad, though, because since with the amulet of strength, I think I'm gonna start using melee with these lesser demons and i'm trying to save up all my runes for the next game update where there is a new strongest monster lesser demons are also quite close to the lobster food source so i think the best way for me right now is to use melee and just keep using lobsters since the next strongest monster in the next month will be very, very far away from a bank or a food source. So using magic would, I think, be the best solution, but therefore I will need a lot of money. So let's kill some lizard demons to make money and save on some runes. And hopefully get lucky in the next month. Yes, it took less kill count. Previously it took like 350 KC, it now only took me 200. Yes. I'm done. I'm done. I think that's, I think that's July completed, isn't it? So I ended up with 47 strength. Oh, before I forget, I need to grab some more red spider eggs for strength potions. And as well as 54 fishing and 60 cooking. Yeah, that is the completion of July 2001. Let's immediately move on to the next game update, which is in three weeks, in August 2001. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.